Hello everyone, welcome to another week in our garden. Now today we're starting in the fruit cage just to show that I put those dwarf beans in in this space like I said last week. Just show you that we've done it and watered them. Didn't get an awful lot out of the pank but enough for now. There they are then, all stood. There'll be no bird problems in here. We just have to remember to keep watering them for the next few days until they get some roots down and then they'll look after themselves. Now because the cold weather's passed by us now, very very cold all week, frost most morning, but we're over it now. The wind's changed direction, we've got rid of that awful wind from the east. It's actually blowing from the west today so it's a lot better. Now we need to get on with some planting. As you know, I've done these beans. I have a few courgettes to pop in and then we'll be down in the new cage that we built in the cold. And uh, we'll plant, I've planted the peas and we've just got some beans to put in. We'll show you how we do it. Now we're on plot C. This is where we're going to put the courgettes. Now they're all yellow. Now I have planted some, there's just two left to plant. They are a little close together, but if I remember right, the yellow ones didn't grow quite as strong last year as the green ones. So they should be all right at that spacing. Right, there's just two to put in. We'll put them in with the trowel because they're in one litre pots. It's a piece of good land, so it'll grow some good courgettes. I know Gemma, Gemma will have a few courgettes with this, so we will need a few. They should be rooted down by now. They are a lot. They're ready. They had a lot more growing to do, but they'll be fine. Just pop them in. Loose and round. There you are. Break these so you can see how hard the soil is. It'll be fine. Right, we'll pop that other one in and give them a drink of water and go down to the beans. Just here, look. The ground is very, very hard. Plenty of muck in the ground from winter, it's, it should do quite well. Just break the bottom up now and then pop them in. That's fine. Plenty of moisture on that root ball so it'll soon get going. If you just break the soil a little bit then it lets the water in what we put on top and it'll soon soften this down, a bit of water. We haven't had any rain for quite some time, you know. And of course yet, so there's like a lot of water over the next few days till they settle down. And as you saw, the soil underneath plenty wet for those. So if we just water them for a little while, and then they'll look after themselves. A little bit more on those two. We'll put the full can on, won't do any harm. We'll go down and we'll show you my bean supports and plant the beans. Now this is the, you can call it a bean and pea cage if you like. It's an inner frame or a support frame for the beans and the peas and all I've done is extended the top rails, threaded a wire through the net and then hung the net on and the canes are just to hold the net steady. Now I've already put the peas in as you can see. Remember when you're putting the peas in there, as soon as you've got them in, to really ridge them up, ridge up the soil against them so it holds them upright. If you don't you'll find that they'll flop all over. They do flop anyway. It helps them get established 
and they'll be up and away. That end of the alderman peas and this side are sugar snap. So these are the sugar snaps doing quite well. They've been in that frame for oh, three weeks now waiting and they was getting a bit big but I'm pleased to have got them in. So on this side of the frame we'll put the blotty beans and on this side we'll put the French bean cobra. I've cut a channel or a wedge with the spade and I've drawn the soil in so I can just stand the beans up against the side and then we'll bank fill across. There's not a lot of space and we seem to have an awful lot of beans so they will be going quite tight together. These are the blotted beans. They're standing quite well. They was in the frame and I think the frame's just drawn them up a bit but I'm sure they'll be fine. And we'll just open the open the root trainer up. You see it's done a perfect job. Now I should put one at each end and one in the middle and keep putting one in the middle until oh, they're very very tight together and we can use up all the bean. If there's a few left, not too concerned because uh, I know somebody will want them. Yeah. So just case of standing them up, if we go one each end and one in the middle, They're in pairs and both seeds have germinated, but there'll be some with just one in and probably some with none. And we'll put one in the middle. Here's the label. So we know what beans are in this end. We'll open another one. They have stretched a little bit. They are good plants. And then I'll show you how I put this one in, then I'll do them all and come back to you. Beautiful roots really like these root trainers for beans then it's just a case of putting them to the center and then this gap here we put two in then when we're running out of space towards the end we'll fill that as well so i'll get them set out and then come back and show you how, to, how i fill them in now that's all the beans in, as you can see it looks quite full, but they'll do well. It's a good piece of land and I'm going to put a little bit of fertiliser onto the backfill. Now I'm going to sprinkle on the backfill some calcified seaweed and hoof and horn mixed together. Sprinkle that on the top then rake that in and give them something to bite into. Not a lot, just a sprinkling. This land was fertilised well last autumn so it'll stand well. When I was raking through I couldn't see any of the straw etc that we'd put in, it's all totally gone so the soil is in good heart, it should grow some good peas and beans. Once that bit fertilises on I just I just rake through it just to mix it with the soil just a little bit and then I pushed it to the plants and then I'll show you how I tighten them all the way along. You can smell the bone meal in it. Then when they get to this stage I just use this and just push Gently mind you, gently, just push the roots tight so that there's no spacing below so that bit of soil is going right into those roots. That's it now. And then backfill is normal. Then we know that they've got fertiliser. Now when you're doing it don't forget to ridge because when you start watering etc this soil will all sink down. You'll get a lump or two, just break those as you go. 
Push it well in. Then when we water it'll settle all this down into the roots. The same again, I shall water for the next few days till they look after themselves and then apart from really drought weather they should be alright. I just ch change to the hand trowel now. I find it easier, easier with this, just to scoop them, scoop it in. Make it look nice as well. Then we'll just go gently along. And press them in. And then just tidy up along the side. stony old land look at it, but it's good land. Now we'll give them a good watering, a full can for the line. And it's soaked really in. Full can. Mm. Now, I'm not sure, but I think that one's growing already. Now I'm going to do exactly the same to this side with the cobra beans. Our first thing to do is put the little label up so we know what's there. And I'll get these planted the same way and then I'll come back to you when they're all in and planted, okay? That's the cobra beans in. I'll just give them a drink and then rake the, rake the bed down. Plenty of water to start them off. Now that's all the beans and peas planted. They look well. I'm very pleased with them. All we've got to do now is shut the net up to keep the birds out. I've just got a couple of pegs at each side just to hook the net onto, just to hold it down. And a piece of wood in the bottom that keeps that down as well. Then we have access to it if we need to go in. Same again, look, we just put a peg in just to hold it. Now that should keep them pigeons off. Oh, the uh, quite pleased with it. It was the all the material that we used last year. I've had to add nothing to it, and I haven't used any staples this year. All the tops are just threaded through wires and hound up. Now. Here's the butternut squash plants. Again, they've been in the, the frame all through the cold weather. Luckily, the frost hadn't touched them, so we're all right. They're called uh, Sweet Max. I don't know whether they're a hybrid or not. It doesn't say on the label. It's just butternut squash, Sweet Max. So it'd be nice to see. We're going to put four on this side of the arch. I've already put four on the other side. Five actually, because one on was a bit weak. 
so I've put it on that side with those so we've got four good plants for this side let's I'll get two in and then we'll plant the rest right we've just these two to put in now as you can see the top of the soil is very hard but it soon breaks down when you tap it but underneath is very moist yet very damp I'll just show you with this look at that look you can see the the manure is still there rotting down nicely that we put in in the winter as well so we, we should be all right it's rotting down nicely that is nearly gone Now, I don't know if you can remember last week I said that the manure bin was empty and I was beginning to worry but Mark has emailed Diane and said he's going to bring a load of manure tomorrow and that I'm very very pleased about that and even more pleased because he says I won't be able to unload it he'll have to unload it and then he'll go wonderful it's, let's get this butternut squash in there. We'll just put a bit of that feed round them. I don't think they really need it because there's lots of manure down there. But we mixed it for the beans and peas so we we'll use it for while we've got it. Same as normal, just loosen round. So that soil is nice and loose for the water to get in when we water it and then what I do, I take some of this fine soil and just pop that round and then when we water it that will wash down and fill some of the holes up around the roots the last one going in then get the hole out first not too close because here I'm going to put some bean net so they've got something to latch on to to go up but that's not, no rush to put that in yet. Just loosen the bottom, you can see the, again the manure is rotting down beautiful. It's nearly gone. It's a good land for butternut squashes and courgettes and pumpkins, they'll love that. And it's nice, still nice and moist look, so it's fine a little bit round it this, that'll do don't want to here we are look it's rooted down say it's been in the frame in the cold that's done well and in it pops there you go just beat it up a bit It won't break every lump up till it rains and then that'll take those out. A bit of this fine soil around the top lot. Alright, we'll give them a good drink. Really wash that soil down into those roots. Same as the beans, do it for a day or two till they look after the cells and then let them get on with it. Then. So that's the butternut squash planted. Another job done. I'll pop that bit of net on tomorrow probably and they can get on with it then. That'll be it for this week. We've got a bit of planting done. I'm so pleased to be getting those plants out like greenhouse. Want to start at the weekend to empty the top greenhouse of the uh, plants for around the house so I can get the tomato plants on the floor and get them growing. Now, one or two of you have said that you're not getting notification of when the video's coming out. So if you press the bell on the screen, you 
automatically be told when there's a video being released. Now that's it for this week. It's been a lovely day planting with you. After last week, it was unbelievably cold here, building that frame. I had to keep nipping into the greenhouse to get warm. It was that cold in that east wind. Anyway, we're getting the planting done. Look forward to seeing you next week. I'll be able to show you what progress we've made. And then when we get it all planted up, we'll have a grand tour so you can see everything from top to bottom. And you can have a look at the old chickens as well. Now, thank you for subscribing. We do appreciate it. And most of all, thank you for watching. I do take care of yourselves. We're nearly there. And hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye now.